Hi guys and girls, I'm a bit late with updating this video um, or putting this video up I should say but I wanted to do my favourite PPU polishes up until July 2019 and then do my August haul because so many of the polishes in this month's in August's um, haul are just gonna be my favorites for all time I just love them anyway um so yeah on my nails is this uh, polish from OPI it's what time isn't it it's a gray with a silver bar glitter and I love it so I've pre-swatched everything and um yeah I'll talk you through them I pre-swatched them with Claire when she was here and we were ooing and eyeing over them so yeah loved all of them and I'm very very happy with what I got uh, I'm going to uh, start with my magnetic picks I don't usually buy magnetics but I decided to get some magnetics this time around I hope you can see the effect here and um, there's this um, my magnetic um yeah I need to get better at my magnetic game you can kind of see the effect here this is from Baroness X it's my first Baroness X polish I'm sorry for that child screaming up there and um, I love how they put this kind of swatch on the top it's so cool so you can see the ma magnetic effect let me see if I can get it here with the uh, yeah you can kind of see it here I need to play around with it because it is a kind of a multi-chrome shimmer that is magnetized so yeah it's really really good I love it and I love the flakies in this too and this is called carnival glass so it was a carnival theme for um PPU in August there were so many good so 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 many good um polishes and I yeah I was in heaven uh but the next one I picked up then is from it's my first one from this brand too. This is Confetti and Ser uh, Confit, Confetti, Confit, and Serpentina, uh, Ser Serpentina. There we go. Um, yeah, and this is from DRK Nails. Really, really pretty. This, um, I think you can build it up, but I think it's probably best as a topper. And it has, when you magnetize it, has this like amazing blue flash in it. So I need to play around with this a little bit more. Now it could be that this magnet is no good, but we'll see. I also picked up the top coat, the magnetic effects top coat from DRK so that I could, um, yeah, I don't have to worry about having to do it quite quickly. And honestly, I can see where there's a line that has been magnetized. You see that blue kind of line? But I really need to have it over a darker colour and I need to play around with them a little bit more. But I'm very, very pleased with both of these magnetic um, polishes. And actually, I really like them anyway um, as polishes. So I think I'll be putting them over blacks in, in future. I think this is lovely, actually. With the You can see that flash there of blue. Anyway, next up is so, so pretty. This is uh, from Quixotic Polish and this is Sunset Swinging and this is Sunset in a Bottle. It goes from an orange to a gold to a red and it's absolutely fantastic. The formula on it is so good. This is it in two coats and it's just autumn in a bottle. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. This is just autumn in a bottle so I'll definitely be pulling this out for the autumn season so so pretty now next up we have the Arda's Nails offering where is my Arda's Nails here we go look at the sparkle on this this is so so pretty there's like a shredded holographic um, uh, shimmer in here or uh, flaky in here or something it's really unusual polish it has a gorgeous pink flash to it to this silvered base and then it has a fantastic holographic the whole way around. So this is super, super sparkly. Now my label, I don't know what, what happened to my label in transit, but anyway, this is Masquerade. I'll have it on screen for you. And here it is uh, in three coats. You'll probably be okay in two. 
and I put beside it Jules's Bijou because I thought maybe they would be very close but Jules's Bijou is much more flat and this one has a slight little bit of texture to it um so not not uncomfortable texture I shouldn't I shouldn't really call it texture but just it is different to Jules's Bijou just in case you were wondering and the pink behaves slightly differently in both as well and that pinky purple flash but really really pretty polish and that's from Arda's Nails so I think when Claire was looking at the polishes this was her favorite I think I agree with her it's between this and the Cali Lacquer I have to say but anyway this is Circus uh, Peanuts and this is from Scofflaw Polish I'm a big Scofflaw fan and I don't have enough of this brand. This ha is a very kind of pale, creamy, ivory base with a metallic green, uh, metallic kind of teal green um, glitter, a pale pink glitter, and then a neon orange glitter. Oh, sorry, I was off camera there. But it's so, so pretty. I love this polish. So um, this took two coats as well. Um, but I think I put three here on the wheel. It's just, I, I love it. I, it's so, so unique. This one and the next one. They're just so unique, just in terms of the colors. I love them. So um, this was one that not many people were talking about. And I was like, please don't, don't let too many people talk about it because then I'll have a chance of getting the bottle of it, which I know is kind of selfish, but yeah, I really, really loved that. Next up, we have Sweetheart Polish. My first from Sweetheart Polish. Look at this Crelly, oh my God. This is like a pale grayish blue base with a lime green, neon aqua, and black matte glitters, and then a pale, what is it? Pale blue glitters in there as well and it's just gorgeous. Uh, this also comes with a packet of stars that you can add to the bottle yourself or add to a mani. I think what I'm going to do is add it to a bottle for uh, like a top coat so that I can use it as a topper. And um, so I might just add it to some old top coat or something that I have going around. But that's, I just thought that was really, um, really really thoughtful of the maker not to put the stars in because not a lot of people like the stars in and this polish oh my goodness but this polish is absolutely stunning so so pretty that's it in two coats or is it three i can't remember maybe it was three but i love this and i'm actually going to use this and the scofflaw one over halloween i just have, already have ideas for it okay so next up then we have this the kind of the one of the more striking colors I guess from what I got this this month and this is my first indie polish this is uh, called elephants uh, elephant ears are life so so pretty look at the sparkly square and certain um, hex uh, glitters in here we've got red holographic glitters we've got bronze and kind of um, then smaller glitters, we've got blue glitters, and then all in this lovely blue va base. It's just really, really pretty. Great formula on this as well. And this sit in two coats. Might need two coats of top coat, but um, I'm okay with that. Really, really pretty. So that is going to be perfect in the autumn. Very sparkly. So that is indie. And then finally, it's gotta be said, um, this was probably this was probably the most talked about polish um or the most desired polish I think um in in August uh, just from looking at threads and I know that Madeline had to up the cap a couple of times because it was Caddy Lacquer's first time in PPU so obviously I had to have this polish. This is um, a very bright red jelly with a ton of different sized royal blue glitters, matte glitters. It's just such a simple polish, such a simple idea but it's just so striking on the nail. It just looks incredible. Those blues just jump out of the red and I don't know how she does it. She just it's just so well executed 
lovely, lovely formula. The other reason I want this is because it's called Parade, and I believe it's after the Basel Parades as well, so there's a Swiss connection here too, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So, guys and girls, you can see why now I had to leave my favourites um, until, uh, or I had to do my favourites before I did this August haul because otherwise it would have been too hard. I think uh, there's a few in here that would definitely become favourites for me, at least four <laughs> that would become favourites for me. I just adore them and I'm really excited to play with all of them. So yeah, that's it guys and girls. Let me know down below what you've picked up from August or September and I will talk to you all again very, very soon. Bye.